of the building is relatively new. It was built in 2008 and it can house 500 people. Now the PVC pipes in the walls broke and that means that roommates will soon be separated and it will be extra work for students who are preparing for finals. Finding somewhere to live on such short notice. Oak Place Apartments needs desperate repairs. The floor was like sinking a little bit when you would step down onto it. It's like, this isn't right. The university says it fixed the broken pipes in the kitchen and laundry areas of the apartments that were leaking. Now it needs to repair the water damage in the walls, floors, and cabinets. That means moving and hassles for students. It's holiday season for my job, so I'm going to be working constantly, and it's going to be a pain in the butt trying to get days off or doing it at night, trying not to disturb everybody as I do it. We have lots of essays due and uh, tests before finals and everything. Um, so now we have to add the added stress of moving on top of that. The university is testing air quality samples inside the building. It's forcing the 212 people out of the north wing first. Contractors will repair the south wing over the summer. We have roommates now that we've like become accustomed to. So to change that up next semester is just going to be another another added stress. Students must find new housing as they prep for the end of the semester. Most don't know where they'll go, but they're trying to stay positive. Added stress on the whole like situation, but you know, it'll it'll be fine. I think they're doing the best they can with the situation that they have. And the university is going to let all those students out of their housing contracts and refund their second semester money. They're also the university is going to provide these students with moving crews to help relocate their belongings. Live in Kansas City, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News. Well,